So you went on to create your own website, you produced an award-winning documentary, wrote two books, but you still felt stigmatized by society because you didn't have children. And you I felt didn't. that you were being judged because of that. You know, and here we are at Mother's Day, and, you know, it's turned into this thing that, you know, if you're not married and don't have kids, it is so hard. And I think a lot of women can relate to that. If you're not a mother, um, which it turns out I am now, but for so long I wasn't, and yeah. that's what I... That's still who I identify with. You know, like the person who's lost 100 pounds and looks in the mirror and, you know, still sees the big person. I still understand the person who is judged because maybe they don't have kids. Right. But what I found out is there's a lot of ways to answer the question, do you got kids? Um, the big way that it changed for me, and I was already an aunt, and, that, you know, I was taking care of all my friends' kids. Um, I was having a particularly lonely, sad night, and my best friend since kindergarten did what only a good girlfriend can do. She said, enough. And she said, I think you need to do this. And what this was, she sent me the application to become a big sister in the Big Brother Big Sister program. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that led you to that little girl row. That was the first day we met. She was eight years old. And I say she's my lucky charm, because I really think that being with her and uh, the time that we spent together opened my heart to meet the man who eventually became my husband and become a mother. But yeah. it changed by signing up to do that.